chills up and down my body. If you're proud to be an American one more time, let's go! What a beautiful sound. You sounded good. Thank you, thank you, Lee. It's time to rodeo. As we start off, we bring you the first banners today. Horn Hyundai brings us our bareback riding this afternoon. It's going to be our first event today. Yesterday we set some high scores. I'm going to get you caught up all day long on the scores and the times we turned in at performance number one yesterday and our slack the day before. Horn Hyundai right here in Apache Junction, Arizona. Proud to bring you the bareback riding. Alright, let's get it going right now as we start off inside shoot number two today. The one hand hold wild man's contest of our game is getting ready. Alright, so we started off with the bareback riding today. Yesterday, 82 was our high score. It was over for Tony Crockett today. We're going to set them on the ground. Our pickup up man, J.T. French, and bust the news. Pick them up the best of all if you would today. That is a long time talent from the Navajo Nation right here in Arizona. It's made big waves all across the rodeo world, even up into Canada, the Calgary Stampede last summer. The numbers come in. Half the score for the horse, half the score for the cowboy. How high they jump, how hard they kick, and how much control our boys show during the ride. 73 points for Evan Batoni. 73. Hey, not only does that play back there, the louder you all get, the better these guys ride. So let's have a practice run, all right? On the count of three, everybody make a lot of noise again, all right? One. Oh yeah, let's go to Cooper Heimberg right now, coming to the Cowboy, as we are coming out of the Cabot's Frontier Ace Hardware Bishop Trainer Sales Bucket Shoot. This horse that we're 82 points on one day ago. We have a chance to be at 84 or better today. How many of you would like to see a new leader in the bareback riding? The louder you get, the better they do, as Sugar Shane said, and the higher the scores that come in from our pro officials. John Kissel, Lance Yossi, two of the very best in the business are here with us from Grand Canyon Pro Rodeo Association. Now, looks like we might have had to hit the reset button just a bit, you know, the feed off the energy as we talked about Shane. Not only the cowboys feed off the energy, but the livestock does as well. They are born to buck, they are bred to be here. That's generations of selective breeding, much like the racehorse industry, W slash A has brought us the very best top caliber livestock to our rodeo once again this year. Roll it up, Mammoth Steakhouse and Saloon and Circle C Stables is where we are. Continental Cowboy, the horse, definitely worth the wait. As I mentioned, right now, we are winning this rodeo on this horse from yesterday. Man, we got a good-looking crowd today, pal. Don't we? Yep. Wow. Man, it is awesome. You know, I was out and about earlier through the meet and greet, shaking hands, taking selfies. Yeah. And there's a lot of people here that are not from Arizona. Really? Yep. Check this out. How many of y'all from Minnesota? Oh. Mississippi! <laughs> hey, she was loud and proud. Hey, right? She's loud and proud. You know, man, you know what had four eyes but cannot see? Four eyes but cannot see. What's yep. that? Mississippi! M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P. <laughs> I don't know the rest of it, however you spell it. The wonder why you were the only one that stood up. Woo! <laughs> All right, Cooper Heimberg says, let's do it. We need some noise today. <laughs> yeah, looky there. There's about nine different criteria points our judges watch for. How high on the front end those horses get, and how hard they kick in the back. And the cowboy has to do his job as well. Timing and rhythm is burning, keeping that arm in the air. We can hear you today, Angel. Hey, not only did he make a good job, he has one of the coolest mullets ever. Check it out. <laughs> hey, are you from Mississippi? No. 
Because she has a Mississippi haircut going on. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, he's not going to be enough to take their overall lead, but he's the highest score we've seen today so far. How about a 78-point Ryan for Cooper's game? What a Ryan. You guys having fun today? Yeah. All right. Let's get ready to go right now to Tom G. Denver, Colorado Cowboy, originally from the Navajo Nation. He's on the horse called Buckaroo. Here's the superstar Buckaroo from the other side. can guarantee the late great Buster Webb is smiling now on an old Buster Roo today with that one. Wow! Man, he, he did a front flip, man. Didn't he? Yeah. My goodness. That was cool. Did you enjoy the bareback riding? Everybody make a little noise. Give me another recap at our bareback riding today. Two qualified rides, however, not quite enough to take the lead with that 82-point score from yesterday. Now, Charlie, the nomination talent, still the number one spot. As we go into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow, championship day, we crown our winners. Thank you again, Horn Hyundai and SRP, bringing you the bareback riding. As we get ready to go to the next event, how about a round for the bareback riders one more time?